It's a great day for the Lord. Woo! It's a great day for you and me because we know Him. It's a great day for the Lord. It's a great day for the Lord. It's a great day. Ah, it's a great day for the Lord. It's a great day for you and me because we know Him. Hey, somebody worship you. It's a great day for the Lord. Yeah, it's a great day for you and me. Yeah, it's a great day for the Lord. It's a great day for you and me because we know Him. Yeah, need the other screen, man. Yeah, oh my God, a day of worship, a day for His glory, a day for worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I need the other screen. Let's begin to worship God. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. And the screen's not on over Instagram over here. It's a day of worship for the King of Glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. your heart and lift your hands for the Lord. It's a great day for Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Can't stop praising your name, God. Thank you for all you've done and all you're gonna do. you guys have never been so glad to be somewhere to worship the Lord <laughs> people go did Kent really have COVID not yes I did I'm on the other side three days ago got my strength back here we go for Jesus it's not a death sentence I'm really tired of that especially on the liberal news if you get it you're gonna die my doctor John Wiener says Kent it's an upper level a virus or influenza I'm 67 years old I mean, I wouldn't wish it on a dog, but I'm being honest with people. Taryn, my daughter-in-law, said, Ken, nobody talks about it like they have it, like it's a shame. I, I'm not ashamed. Man, but I tell you what, today, as I was getting ready for this stream, we're on the new schedule, 44747. <laughs> and the new schedule means that we're at 4 o'clock on Monday and Tuesday. We're 7 p.m. on Wednesday night. Matt and I are actually off on Friday. Saturday night is now 7 o'clock. And then we go back to Sunday's off. So it's 44747, meaning we're on Monday at 4, Tuesday at 4, Wednesday night at 7, Thursday at 4, and then Saturday night at 7 o'clock. So the reason that I'm really excited today, you guys listen to me now. I'm going to go back to worship. The Lord said, go back to the beginning. I went, huh? I mean, earlier this morning, we had a little meeting with Matt and Taryn. Well, it wasn't little. It was about two hours. <laughs> and he said, I want you to go back to March 19th when you started doing a psalm a day. Go back to Psalm 91 and revisit it. So today, this is what they call a redux. You guys, I went back to the original uh, narration. It's nothing like what we're going to do today. And I want you to pray about something because these psalms now that I revisit, I'm sending them to our videographer. He's going to be doing 27-minute videos to our narration of these psalms. Now, obviously, the later ones, Carla got better, I got better. Uh, things got stronger, the narrations got stronger. And I'm not going to redo all of them, but I want you to pray about this because I believe a gateway is opening 
Let me say it this way. I was on the phone with my good friend Trisha this morning, or whatever time. She said, actually, it's afternoon. <laughs> Everybody's lost track of the time of the day. She said, Can I saw your Psalms narration up on the walls where people could sit and meditate on them. I said, no way, because I saw the Psalms. These, uh, these sheets right here, let me show you what it looks like. This is Carla and Mai's narration. It's got the psalm. It's got her name, my name. If you can see that uh, in the shot, I don't know if I'm holding it up right or not. But I saw it decoupaged onto glass and onto walls where people were getting the word of God. I didn't know we would go 91 days straight. Uh, and as you guys can tell, listen, Corona uh, is not a death sentence. I mean, if somebody's in their 70s and they have diabetes and Just they have heart problems, said. that's cool, Matt. I can see it now. That's very cool. You know, I, I know some people have passed away, and I'm very sorry about that. But Carla, all th Carla, Matt, and I all tested positive because we were at GHOP. That must have been infested pretty good down there or something. And then my daughter-in-law, Taryn, as far as we know, does not have it. She did not test positive. And so, but you guys, I'm being very clear with you today. I'm back with a vengeance, payback for the kingdom of darkness and to bring pleasure to the heart of my father. da 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 Da, 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 da. I'm never giving it up, man. I don't care. Whatever comes our way, you guys, the storms of light. I am super stoked about today because we're revisiting Psalm 91. It's going to blow your mind. The, the voice and the passion translation of Psalm 91, I wouldn't even use in either one of those back in March. We started, think of it this way. Our nation shut down on March 17th, and two days later, I said, Matt, a psalm a day. He goes, what, Dad? I said, a psalm. I'm going to do a psalm every day for 14 days, see what happens. And then we got to 14, and he said, don't quit. Well, we never even made it to 14. He said, whatever you do, don't quit. We went to 21 days, and we went to 30, and then we went to 45. We went 91 days straight, and then I didn't feel very good, obviously. <laughs> but you guys, Psalm 91. Just, I'm going to worship a little bit, but check it out. He who dwells in the secret place, ah, ah, of the Most High, they abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He's got a big shadow. One translation says he put out his shoulder, his pinion, his feathers, and provided a place of shelter for you and me. <laughs> he put out his shoulder. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, man? And then it says, I will say of the Lord, what, Mr. Son, what would you say? He said, I will say, you are my refuge. You're my fortress. My God in whom I, I'll trust. Worship the living God, she goes, worship the living God forever and ever. Lifting up holy hands. Come on, somebody. Lifting up holy hearts, yea. This is going somewhere for the Son of God. We're not an accident going somewhere to happen. We are on very much on purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got my voice back. I'm a songbird. You guys ready? You bunch of songbirds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lifting up my voice. Lifting up my voice. Yeah. 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 Love you, Lord. Come on, tell the Lord you love him this this afternoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We love you, Lord. Na 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 na. Yeah, 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 na na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The sound of worshipers filling the atmosphere of America. Come on, James. That's what I said. The sound of worshipers were filling the atmosphere of America. Yeah, na na how. Yeah, na na how. Sing in the spirit if you have a prayer language, somebody. Hey, come on. Deep into the river, deep into the river. Ah, deep into the river of the Lord. I 
I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, and I will say of the Lord, You're my refuge and my strength. I will say of the Lord, You're my refuge and my strength. And I will say of the Lord, You are my refuge and my strength. And there it is, there it is, the shelter. He that dwells in the secret place, oh, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. <laughs> of the Most High God. Yeah. Thank you, Pamela. She said, great to see you all better, Ken. Thank you. Absolutely. I, I'm feeling back in the saddle, the strength of Almighty. The songbirds, that's right, bro. Yeah, oh, under the shadow, under your shadow, God, huh? Under your shadow, I will abide, huh? Under the shadow, let's go there, guys. Under the shadow. Under the shadow of the Almighty, I'm abiding, I'm abiding, I'm abiding and living and abiding. Under your shadow, Lord. Under your shadow. <laughs> Woo! Under your shadow, Lord. I will abide, I'm living and abiding. Check it, come on, sing it. And under your shadow, Lord. Under your shadow, Lord. Under your shadow, I'm living and I'm abiding. Um, you put your shoulder out, Lord. You put your shoulder out. There was a shadow under your feathers, under your pinions, under your shadow. We're living. We're living and abiding under your shadow. Man, that, that's awesome to know that. Yeah, yeah. Under your shadow, God. Under your shadow, Lord, I will under your shadow. I will abide, I will live and abide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under your shadow, Lord, somebody lift it up. Under your shadow, Lord, I'm living and abiding there. I'm living and under the shadow of the Most High. I said the Most High, Most High God. Most I got what? Uh, most I got living and abiding under the oh somebody's getting it in their spirit yeah yeah under the shadow of the most I got Woo! under your shadow of the most I got yeah most I got most high God. Something is transformative in that. The most high God. I love it when we first learned it. Under the shadow of the most high. He's not the least high. He's not middle high. He's the most. <laughs> You're going to hear it later on. In Psalm 91 when we start the narration. And again, I want people to be praying. I'm sending this guy right down. Our videographer has been waiting probably for four weeks. <laughs> but it says, I chose the God above every other God to be my God and to live under the shadow of his wings. Oh, we're covered. And here's John Stevenson, my buddy from Cincinnati. I hope he's doing good. Is John 60 at Carla? He's an apostolic man of God. He pastors a church. Under the shadow of your wings, I will find a hiding place. You are my refuge. 
my fortress in I will trust You are 
song <laughs> Sunday night last night this is on a Monday for people that are live streaming and Carla pulled up the worship from Bonaparte from Indonesia from what church Revival Christian Center I think Revival and you guys this is what he's singing and I want to dedicate this to Bonaparte who he said, dedicated it to us so I'm dedicating it back to him. He said, Ken Henry taught me everything I know. And bro, he called me his mentor. Think of this, you guys. Around the world, we sent out cassettes, <laughs> magnetic tape, even pre-internet. <laughs> Wish that song was on one of our first cassettes. Never made it to CD. And it, it, it's just so beautiful. He was singing, it is you. It is you. It is you that I love. It is you, my Lord and King. I apprehend to know. This is recorded live in 1993 on the Psalmist Trilogy, 1990? No, yes, nine, 91. 1991. They sure know? It might have been 90. Tell them what the Psalmist Trilogy is Psalmist and what you Trilogy, called it. Songs of Prayer and Intercession is Volume 1. Songs of Power and Might is Volume 2. Songs of Worship and Holiness is Volume 3. It is the gold standard, I told Kent. <laughs> the gold standard. We recorded it live at Life Christian Center with a couple thousand people, and the Lord warned me. He goes, Kent, I want you to have a conference, but not like normal. <clears throat> I want you to do two things at the conference. As you gather these people, meet with me. Times of refreshing. Shut up. It's so good. This one's on power and might. He said, I don't want you to do 48 classes on leading worship wherever. I want you to meet with me in times of refreshing. It, these conferences were the most special thing. What Carla just said, this song here is on volume what? Two. Which is songs of? Power and might. It is you, I'm going up to D. Let's go. It is you. It is you, yeah. It is you. Oh, and be 
gonna do it again. Well, then now I, <laughs> how I love you, Lord. You're gonna be kidding me. Out of the archives, boys and girls. stay there for an hour. And again, I want to say it one more time. <clears throat> Actually, we had our good friends, <laughs> Carla and Rich Rio. I'm going to have Carla tell you what they said online. They were out trying to teach a bunch of millennials in Malibu, California about worship. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Johnny Ruffle put it up on his Facebook that Ken had COVID and it just went crazy. We started hearing from people all over the place. And uh, so anyway, through that post, I guess Rich and Carla happened on one of these these um, live streams, probably the last one that we did. And Jesus. he said, what do you mean? Kent looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> he said, are you really sick? But uh, I don't know if it was Rich or Carla, but it, it said Rich. But anyway, he said, Kent, you're the best worship leader ever, ever, ever. <laughs> but he said, why is because it's real, it's he authentic. He said, we try to teach millennials out here in uh, Malibu uh, this technique and style, yeah. but it's, unless you see it, it's pretty hard to teach. Man, but just think what the Lord did back in 1974, 75 and 76, he touched a few thousand young people, including me and Ron Tucker, and it went around the world. And Rich and Carla. I'm, I'm very privileged. Charlie and Jill. And I, I'm, yeah. yeah. Claudia. Claudia. Singing, and Paul Bruce. Deming. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, if you look at what happened, it was a very special time. I believe it will come again in every generation, but you guys, I'm super honored. Um, actually, Jim Stern, my son-in-law, wrote the forward to my book. I had no idea what he, he would put it. Here's what he said, listen to me closely, and then we'll do Psalm 91. I'm not on the clock. I'm in the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I got all my strength back. I could go for five hours. <laughs> it feels like that. But Jim said, if you would have told everybody in 1975 that the whole earth 20 years later, 1995, would be singing the same songs, they would say, you're a liar. It's never happened. It's never going to happen. It didn't even happen with rock and roll music. But he was right. In my lifetime, Carla and I just had our anniversary 45 years. What happened in the first 20 years of our marriage is these songs went around the world. They were singing them in Argentina and Africa. And again, I, I, now I'm understanding what I actually did back in the day. I was listening to my own album, the Trilogy album today. I said, oh my God, this is really good. If I was around back in the day, I would have gone to this guy's conference. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but it's not. It's so anointed I, because times of refreshing and being in his presence. Well, let's do a little time out. Let's look at Psalm 91. Carla, anything you want to share about this before we narrate this? And again, the Lord said go back to the very beginning. We're revisiting, at least for today, Psalm 91, the very first psalm we rolled out at the beginning of a psalm a day. It's funny because I was going to tell Kent earlier today, Show I think we need to do Psalm 91 Jesus. again. And he came up and said, we're doing Psalm 91 again. I go, well, that's confirmation. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to pray over it. Father God. So my God. Jesus. You are our refuge. You're a refuge and a fortress. God. Wow. Mankind is beaten up by the kingdom of darkness. We're just a, a frail human being, human beings that have flaws and, you know, we try. 6,000 years away from the fall, God. Sin has taken its toll on mankind. And we see it as we look around every day. But you, from the very beginning, said you would be our fortress and our strength. That in you we could run and be oh there any time. Yes. We could hide under the shadow of your wing. Because there's nothing greater than you. Nothing higher than you. Oh my nothing God. can even touch you, God. <laughs> and if it can't touch you when we're there, it can't touch us either. So we just thank you, God, that you've made yourself available in that way, in that intimate way for us as human beings, as your children. We thank you that you've given us this song, that we can look at it and receive it and say, that's true. It's true. It's true in my life. Psalm 91, verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. He who takes refuge in the shelter of the Most High will be safe in the shadow of the Almighty. He will say to the Eternal, my shelter, my mighty fortress, my God, I place all my trust in you. When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my great confidence. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High is abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. 
if you dwell in the secret place of the most high under the shadow of the almighty The Passion Translation says, You sit enthroned in the shadow of El Shaddai. <laughs> you sit enthroned under the shadow of El Shaddai. Yeah. You are hidden in the strength of God. You're hidden in the strength of God the Most High. You're hidden in the strength of God the Most High. Yeah, yeah. Well, under the shadow of El Shaddai is where you're seated in the sky. Yeah, under the shadow of El Shaddai. Oh my God. Yeah, oh, you have the strength of the Almighty. He your strength, God most high. He is your strength, God almighty. He is your strength. He is the God most high. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold that shelters me. The only God for me, my great confidence. You guys ready? Verses 3 and 4. Surely, I said most certainly, he would deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Oh my God, he will cover you with his feathers. Thanks, Lord. Let me say it again. He covers you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. For he will rescue you from the snares set by your enemies. Thank God. The voice says he will rescue you from the snares set by your enemies who entrap you. He's saving you from deadly plagues. Let me have an amen, people. He saves you from the deadly plagues like a bird protecting its young. Oh, thanks, Lord. Like a bird protecting its young, God will cover you with his feathers and will protect you under his great wings. His faithfulness will form a shield around you. What'd you say, Ken? I said, his faithfulness forms a shield around you. A rock solid wall to protect you. He's the rescuing God from every hidden trap of the enemy. Ha! Uh, he will protect you from false accusations and any deadly curse. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. Wow! You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. Your arms of faithfulness are my shield keeping me from harm there I sing your arms of faithfulness are a great shield keeping me from harm hear it again your arms oh God your arms of faithfulness are a giant shield for me, keeping me from harm, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I said, your arms of faithfulness are a great shield, keeping me from harm. Got to do it again, guys. arms of faithfulness are a great shield keeping me from oh, harm oh, harm ah. come on one more time your arms of faithfulness are a great shield keeping me from harm Carla Ray. I'm 
and six. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. You will not dread the terrors that haunt the night, or enemy arrows that fly in the day, or the plagues that lurk in darkness, or the disasters that wreak havoc at noon. You will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing, whether by night or by day. Demonic danger will not trouble you, wow. nor will the powers of evil launched against you. Oh, don't fear a thing. Here's we sing that last part. We won't fear a thing. Day or night, night or day, demonic danger will not trouble us, God, because of you. We will not fear a thing, whether day or night or night or day. Demonic danger will not trouble us because of you, Lord. Because of you, yeah, yeah. We're not going to fear a thing, whether day or night or night and day. Demonic danger will not trouble us because of you. In your bigness, in your bigness, I said, we're not gonna fear a thing, God, whether day or night, or night or day. Demonic danger is not coming to us because of you. I said, we're not gonna fear a thing, God, whether day or night, or night or day. Demonic danger will not trouble us because of you and who you are, what you've done. I said, we're not going to fear a thing, yeah, whether day or night or night or day. Yeah. Demonic danger will not trouble us because of you, because of you, because of you. Because of you, sing it because of you, Lord, because of you, because of you, Lord. Don't fear a thing, broster. Then in that another night or day, demonic danger is not gonna trouble us because of you and your bigness, your bigness, Lord. You guys got it? Seven. A thousand may fall at your side 10,000 at your right hand but it shall not come near you ha oh, ha oh, what a promise only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked wow a thousand may fall on your left 10,000 may die at your right hand, but these horrors will not come near you. Only your eyes will witness the punishment that awaits the evil, but you'll not suffer because of it. I want you to hear it again, you guys. Evil will not last forever. Only your eyes will witness the punishment that awaits the evil doing evil things but you'll not suffer because of it. And though a thousand fall at my side, and though 10,000 are dying around me, the evil will not touch me. Take it as your promise, guys. The evil will not touch me. The evil will not touch me. Even in a time of disaster, with thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed. Wow. Unharmed. You'll be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment. Wow. Let's take a moment. Fear of the Lord. Protective rain on us, God. The evil 
moon that touches the reach as Lord. I said the evil will not reach us or touch us because you cover us, because you cover us, because you cover us. The evil will not reach us or touch us. Yeah, yeah, we count on your provision, God. The evil will not reach us or touch us. The evil will not reach us or touch us because you are our covering. Sing it. You are my covering, yeah. The evil will not reach us or touch us. The evil will not reach us or touch us because you are my covering, ow. You're my covering, yeah. The evil will not reach us or touch us. I said the evil will not reach us or touch us. You're my covering. You're our covering. Sing it out. I said the evil will not reach us or touch us, God. The evil will not reach us or touch us because you're my covering. You're my covering, Carla. Na, 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 na. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, wow. even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For you made the Eternal your refuge, the Most High your only home. No evil will come to you. Plagues will be turned away at your door. For Jehovah is my refuge. I choose the God above all gods to shelter me. When we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from harm. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? Here's how we're singing verses 9 and 10. We have made the Lord our refuge and our strength. We have made you, Lord, our refuge and our strength. Yeah. We have made you, Lord, our refuge and our strength we have made you lord our refuge and our strength my dwelling place what you're my dwelling place and no evil will befall us there you are my dwelling place You are my dwelling place You are my dwelling place And no evil will be for us there You are my refuge My strength. Sing it out. You are my refuge, Lord, and my strength. You are my dwelling place. You are my dwelling place. And no evil will befall me, will befall me. my refuge Woo. you are my refuge and my strength you are my refuge yeah, come on now well you are my refuge and my strength my dwelling place and no evil will befall me there, because you're my dwelling place. 
you're my dwelling place. Oh, God. Yeah, you are. For a, every generation, Moses said, you have been our dwelling place. I love that. Yeah. Generation after generation, he said, you're my dwelling place. You've been the dwelling place of many generations. Yeah. You are my refuge and my strength. You are my refuge. Yeah. You guys ready? He gives his angels charge. Oh, come on now. What a provision. He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Thanks, Lord. He gives his angels charge over you <laughs> to keep you in all your ways. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your little bitty foot against a stone. And check it out, you guys. You will tread upon the lion and on the cobra. The young lion and the serpent, you're going to trample them underfoot. I believe this is a promise for the last days and the days we're living in right now. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent, you shall trample underfoot. Thank God. He will command his heavenly messengers to guard you. <laughs> People say, Kent, do you believe in guarding angels? Well, it's right there. <laughs> what? Stop interrupting the narration. No, no, it's time. It says, he will command his heavenly messengers to guard you, guardian angels. It's right there to keep you safe in every way. They will hold you up in their hands so that you will not crash or fall or even graze your foot on a stone. Hear it again, you guys. He will hold you up. They will hold you up in their hands so that you will not crash or fall or even graze your foot on a stone. You will walk on the lion and the cobra you will trample the lion and the serpent underfoot. You will overpower the strongest lions and the most deadly snakes. Thanks for sharing, Lord. And finally, the passion says God sends angels with special orders. Okay, stop right there. <laughs> I want to make sure we get this. God sends angels with special orders to protect you. <laughs> Let's revel in it for a moment. He sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, they'll be there for you, and they'll keep you from stumbling. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, trampling everyone, every one of them beneath your feet. You give your angels, you give your angels charge over me. I love it. Come on. You give your angels special orders for me. <laughs> Come on, rest in it. You give your angels charge over me. Guardian angels and all. Ah, you give your angels special orders over me. Come on, believe it, guys. Sing it out. Yeah. And you give your angels charge over me. Thanks for watching out for me, Lord. And that and that and that. You give your angels special orders over me and my life, me and my life, yeah. You give your angels charge over. It feels so good to sing this, doesn't it? Right out of Psalm 91, bro, yeah. You give your angels 
special learners concerning my heart and my life. Yeah, come on, another time. Yeah. And you give your angels charge over me. Uh, 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 uh. You give your angels special orders over me and my life. Me and my life, yeah. You give your angels special orders over me. You give them charge. You give them charge over my life. Do we believe in angels, Carla? I think we do at a pretty, pretty high level. Absolutely. You ready, girl? And this is what God says about you. 14 and 15. 14 and 15. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver Show. him. I will set him on high. Because he has known my name. <laughs> he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. So, I will deliver him yeah. and honor him. Because he clings to me in love, oh I will rescue him from harm. I will oh. set him above danger. Because he has known me by my name. So, he will call on me, and I will answer. I will be with him through hard times. I'll rescue him and grant him honor. For the Lord says, because he loves me, I will rescue him. I will make him great because he trusts in my name. For here's what the Lord has said to me. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover, I will greatly protect you. I will set you in a high place, safe and secure before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray, and you will find and feel my presence, even in your time of pressure and trouble. I will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. And of course, this is about your Messiah. The Father was covering his son. I gotta sing this because you've delighted. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover. I rescue and protect you. I rescue and protect you because you've delighted in me as your great lover. Because you've delighted in me. As my great lover, I rescue and protect you, says the Lord. I rescue and protect you, says the Lord. Yeah. Because you've delighted in me, you've delighted in me. As my great lover, oh man, I rescue you, yeah, yeah. Because you have delighted as your great lover because you have delighted in me as my great lover i rescue and protect you says the lord i rescue and protect you says the lord while the scriptures record because you've delighted in me as my great lover because you've delighted yourself in me as my great lover yeah I rescue and protect you. Whoa! I rescue and protect you. Yeah, because you delighted in me. As your great lover, I rescue and protect you. Says the Lord, you delighted, we delighted in you. Jesus delighted in the love of the Father. And the Father said, well, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to have to rescue you. Right on the cross, three days in the grave. This is so powerful to know because you delighted in me as my great lover. That whole phrase, because you've delighted in me as your great lover. Wow. That's true worshipers right there, you guys. You know what that means. Yeah, because... 
Bonaparte is on here, Carla. <laughs> I don't know if he just got on here, but he's got a surprise coming earlier. It is you, Bonaparte. It is you. Verse 16, last scripture, loving on Psalm 91. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I'll reward him with many good years on this earth and let him witness my salvation. You will live a long life and see my saving power. I shall fulfill him with length of days, that is, with a long life, and I will show my health to him. And the passion says, you will be satisfied with a full life and with all that I do for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. Wow. And the Wycliffe, I shall fulfill him. I'm giving you length of days, a long life, and I'll show my health to you. I'm giving you long length of days. A long life, I'll show my health. The Lord said he's going to show his health to you. Mm -hmm. Well, with a long life, length of days, I will show, I will show my health to you. Old timer, old time translation says, I'll show my health to you. I believe it, yeah. With length of days and a long life. I show my health to you, yeah. With length of days and length, long life, I'll show my health to you, yeah, yeah. With length of days and a long life, I will show my health to you. Oh man, I've been seeing the health of the Lord, the health. Yes, I'm saying the help of the Lord. That's how they translated it. Fullness of salvation is the help of the Lord. Da -na 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 -na. With long life and length of days, and I'll show my health to you. Help to you. With long life and length of days, I'll show my health to you. My health to you. I'm showing all my health. Can you believe the health of the Lord? What is that even? Wow. You talk about pre-garden and no vitamins. <laughs> I'm showing my health. I'm showing my health to you. Check it one more time. Oh, length of days and a long life I will fulfill. As I show my health to you, I said length of days and a long life, I'll show my health to you, my health to you, yeah, with length of days and a long life, I'll show all my health to you. You'll enjoy the fullness of my, let's do it, I am enjoying Fullness of salvation, what? I am enjoying right now. Fullness of, even in this life, not just on the other side. I am enjoying God. The fullness of salvation. Yes, I am enjoying the fullness of salvation all oh, your provision and your promises I am enjoying the fullness of salvation yeah. yes I am enjoying fullness of salvation yeah. I'm enjoying the fullness of your salvation I am enjoying the fullness of salvation. Come on, sing it out, yeah. I am enjoying the fullness of salvation. I am enjoying the fullness of your salvation, Lord. 
Okay, what a day, man. I was so excited to start this stream at 4 p.m. Central Time. I must say it one more time. Yes, Ken Henry had COVID-19, but it's not a death sentence. It's a virus. And I felt bad for a few days, but started coming out of it. This is my third day. I'm back in the saddle, all my strength. I ran a chainsaw outside for about two and a half hours yesterday. I'd say I'm healed. And you're looking in my eyes. But <clears throat> Taryn, my daughter-in-law, said, Ken, it's good when you talk about it because people have fear about it. We're not going to live in fear, and we're not living with masks the rest of our life. That's not how God created us. But I just want to get on here and make sure you know people are surviving it. I'm going to ask Carla, is it a 95% recovery rate? It's a re And Matt, Matt was 40. He barely had any symptoms. The cool thing is Carla hardly had anything. I mean, she was tired and slept a little bit, but you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna live. We're living for the Lord to fulfill our destiny. I wanna see the hearts and thumbs flying, both Instagram and here. Somebody say amen to this. We're not gonna live in fear, and we're gonna fulfill our destiny in the Lord. Did I tell you yet how much I love you guys? Oh, no, I didn't tell you yet. <laughs> I love you a whole lot. And you need to help us with the end of our monthly budget, right, man? <laughs> yes. We need to raise the rest of our monthly budget. So if you guys can help out, I'm going to hand off to Matt. This was an awesome day for me personally because of Psalm 91 and having full strength of the Lord back. Songbirds are we to the nations. Matt, what do you got, buddy? Amen. Thank you all for joining us for our Monday yeah. live stream, 4 p.m. Uh, We're going live five soon. days a week. Uh, if you didn't know, we did 91 straight Woo. days not that long back. Had to take a little break, as uh, Dad said there, because of covid and yeah. all of that, but uh, we're on the road to recovery and feeling much, much better. And uh, so yeah. we just thank you guys for joining. We had a little dip in the internet, having another dip in the internet now. So hopefully you'll even hear or see what I'm saying. Uh, but uh, if you're joining us today, we uh, try to raise our monthly budget here online. We are a worshiping online prayer and prophetic community. And uh, we try to raise about $300 per stream. That gets us most of the way there for the budget for the month. Uh, but there is obviously more than that. And uh, working with uh, mom here to get some solid numbers because I want to be able to get everybody up on on uh, the same page, yeah. seeing exactly where we're at on reaching those goals and getting to uh, what we need for a month month in, month out basis. Because we are month to month, like all ministries, um, wow. all the dried up uh, uh, going and traveling and all that kind of stopped all the income for the ministry. So if you want to help support us today, we all we just ask you prefer, prayerfully consider. The Lord knows what we need. He knows what he wants to flow through our friends out there and uh, to keep this running and flowing out to you. If you want to join us today, you can join us on chmin.org or canthenry.com. I finally got this up for our Instagram friends. So if you can, uh, you're seeing a, a portion of my screen, but uh, you can see a little bit there. You can check out the donations page. If, you, uh, if you're looking at the screen there, you can click on that. You can go to our donations page where it's all done safe and secure through Give Lively, our partner. You can become a monthly supporter. You can give a one-time donation or do the 12 campaign, which is saying, hey, I have a dollar a month. I'd like to support you for the year. Here's $12. And uh, we get enough people doing that. We don't have to worry about the monthly budget because it'll be met. And we'll just keep this flowing out to you guys five days a week doing what we're doing. Yeah. You see all the stuff right here on the page that you're giving towards. It's 501c3, all tax deductible. Uh, anything over $100, I believe, for the year. <laughs> we'll get a tax donation letter and all of that like every, every other uh, ministry out there. Yeah. You can donate by check as well. You can scroll down on the page to find the address if you're a check giver. Yes. Thank you for all the friends who have sent in checks to uh, help us get along down the road with our budget. You can also check out the store where you can find all the products. We did put a link there for the Power and Might CD from the, CD, uh, the song he did earlier. That's on there if you want to check that out. Uh, Power and Might is on the store there. You can also give right here through the store, so make sure you add that to your cart. And uh, if you want to support us in that way, it's all done the same way. We get it the same way. If you want to check out PayPal, if you're a PayPal user, you can do paypal.me slash chmin. You'll see this exact page when it comes up, paypal.me slash chmin. And uh, you can give right here, log in, do it safe and secure through PayPal if you're a PayPal user. If you're joining us on Facebook, you can do the donation that we set up each and every month for our budget right there. That's all done through Network for Good. So you can support us right here within Facebook. All these are in the comments pinned to the bottom of this stream right that you're watching right now. And uh, you can join that there or you can do the uh, comments. You'll see the star and the star is a, a way to support um, live streamers here on the Facebook platform. You can buy bulk amounts of those stars. You can give a custom amounts of those stars. Those 
those 50, 100, and 200 buttons are kind of the standard. Those will be uh, 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars. And then if you want to give more than that, you hit that custom button and you can load in as many stars as you'd like and give them that way. If you're a Facebook user, check that out. You can also donate through the text giving or give lively platform. That's give 12 in your message box of your text message field two four four three two one, And then that will send you a link right back where you can click on that link and it will pop you right over to our giving platform. Give lively where it's done safe and secure, as I said before. So if you want to check that out, you can do give 12 or the word C H M G I V E and in the message box. And that will send you back a link. If you want to check out the Psalms project, you can put the word Psalms in instead and it will send you a different link to a different page where that's supporting a different uh, Psalms project. There's a whole YouTube video on how to uh, check that out. And then we lastly would like to tell people if you're an Amazon user, check out the Smile program. It's the same exact Amazon website, except you got to go to smile.amazon.com here in the U.S. anyway. And then you will be able to pick and choose a nonprofit of your choice. Kent Henry Ministries is available there. There is a link in the comments as well, just to jump right over. You'll have to bookmark that and go there instead. Sometimes you forget to do it. But uh, if you can remember to do the Smile program, program that will support a half percent of the purchases that you make will go right to us right from the Amazon platform they'll they'll support us that way so you can help us send worship and the gospel all around the nations in this platform by your everyday shopping so we just like to let people know that it's there not many people know that it's there you can support us that way we just are so thankful for you guys liking and sharing the videos jumping on with us each and every day, commenting. We had some prayer requests today we were able to pin up there. We want to support the body of Christ, and this is how we do it through worship and the Word. And uh, Dad was talking earlier, as he said, when we were talking, saying just about the importance of the Word of God, especially in the hour and the days that we're seeing in our planet happening right now. So his bride needs to step up and be the bride. And his word is crucially important with that. So we're so thankful to be able to put this up, to share his word in a, in a musical format, to make it enjoyable. So make sure you let other people know we're here. Again, this is a community we want to grow. We want to build this in to, uh, to be as strong as we can as a community all across the globe. And we're so thankful for you guys jumping in. So hit that like button, hit that share button, especially since on Facebook it had to start a new video today. So we're so thankful for you guys jumping on. Make sure you join us tomorrow at 4 p.m. We'll finish up with a little more worship right now. Yeah, I want to make sure I say hey to Peter. He's over in Singapore. He said, good day. Dude, way to go. He's over in Singapore. We got people from all over watching in the prophetic worship community. And dude, this has its own zip on it. This is, has its own anointing. The Lord said, if you're going to do my word, then I'm going to do this. Lynette Young said, remember, tomorrow is Carla's birthday. She's just over 39. If you add 30 to that, she, <laughs> I said, Carla, well, look at you all smooth and young looking. No kidding, 69, dude. We can't even believe it. We think we're like 39 forever or something like that. And one day we will grow up, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. But I want to close with Chris McClarney's song, Move. <clears throat> Check it. King of old generations, let every tongue and nation surrender all to you alone. I'm after every tribe, tongue, and nation, you guys. Come on, the kingdom of priests, Jesus said, I purchase by my blood every man, woman, teenager, millennial for my glory to be the kingdom of priests. That's why we're still alive, to be a part of raising up the kingdom of priests who will rule and reign on the earth forever. Yeah, with prayer and bowed knees and worship. Here we go, Bryn. King of all generations, let every tongue and nation surrender all to you alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. surrender all to you alone 
So come move, Lord. So come move. Let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival and bring us back to you. Come on, you guys, let's finish it today. Yes, oh, come, move. Let justice rule on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Revival, revival, and bring us back to yeah. Come move, God, yeah. So come move. Let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival and bring us we got to do this verse before we leave today when you move the outcast when you move the outcast finds a family let worship turn into revival and lead us back to you so come move let justice roll on like a river let worship turn into revival Lord bring us back to you come on cry out one more time yeah, and come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Lord, lead us back to you. Lord, uh, Lord, lead us back to you. Love, Lord, lead us back. Yea, we return to our first love. We return to our first love. Yeah, we return to our first love. We return to our first love every day. Uh, the church at Ephesus he said you've done some stuff you guys but I want you to return to your first love okay Jesus let us return let us return we're returning to our first love which is you what you're our first love I'm talking about you returning to our first love which has always been you my first love my god gotta stop i don't want to but it's good <laughs> tomorrow's another stream matt's praying us out today because he knows how to pray yes we just thank you lord for this day of worship that we could come before yeah. your throne, that we could give you Ooh. glory again, God, not rest in our beds, but be here <laughs> worshiping with our friends all across the globe. That we thank you for your body. We thank you for being the head and the leader and giving to us so well, loving us so well, God. We recognize you today as the one that we live for, the one that gives us the very breath that we have to breathe, that takes all of our sickness and our disease on his own shoulders. We thank you for giving us life again in this house and this ministry again today. We give you the glory for being able to sing, for being able to use yes. our voices. God, yes. we don't take anything for granted. This is the day that you've made. So we rejoice and we're glad. We're glad to be able to connect with your body today in this way. And we just ask that your spirit would flow and come and move 
And let justice roll like a river, yeah. God, today as we've sung before your throne. We thank you for your word, for your psalm, for the song of the Lord. Give us more and more of you each and every moment yes. of each and every day. God, is why we live and breathe. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Every heart, every mind. We thank you for joining us today. Join us tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Time in the United States of America. We will see you then.